Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to Where Wendy Travels, Where Wendy Creates. As you can see, I have two bags on my table, so that means it's shopping haul time. All right, I don't know which store to start with, so let's go ahead and go with green bag. Um, we just came back from an absolutely incredible cross-country trip to Yellowstone in the winter. So, in doing so, we went to the most incredible fabric stores out west that I have ever experienced. So, I wanted to show you what we picked up in our journeys. And this bag happens to be from Friends & Co. Quilt Shop. Thank you, Arnold and Vicki. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and this is out in Cody, Wyoming. The most adorable house, very, very old house, probably a hundred year old turn of the century house turned into a quilt shop. And every single room was wall to wall full of beautiful bolts of fabric. So thank you again, Arnold and Vicki, um, for your friends and company quilt shop extravaganza. And we first have this beautiful mountain look of a quilt fabric. And this, I just thought this painted on look looks just like so many of the mountains that we saw cross country. So I had to get this for some of our cross country trips. This would be an absolutely adorable backing or wonderful quilt blocks. So I picked that up. Also had this beautiful little stash in a bin. They have so many different pieces in a bin that we purchased this one uh, from Friends & Co. Quilt Shop. Ah, it's so funny. It doesn't tell. Ah, I think this is a panel. Um, is it a panel? Well, if it's a panel, do forgive me, but I have to open it up and see because I do not remember. So this beautiful panel here is of just a very faded, beautiful uh, look of a flower bursting out. Maybe we'll even paint this piece. <laughs> Who knows? So we have that piece, but that was a beautiful flower panel and a very uh, faded, beautiful, and look at this bird fabric in that light blue now, to many of you, this light blue looks like a summer or spring day, but me just coming across in February on our cross-country trip, this to me looks like beautiful blue sky with snow mixed in. So the birds enjoying themselves, eating berries. I just love this fabric, had to pick that up. So very, very exciting there. Um, another bird panel here, cause it's all up in my bundle. And we'll see if I can get this open for you and show you our bird panel. And this one, um, uh, also going across country, you see nonstop farms. So being in love, Sylvia being in love with that red truck that's everywhere, look at this panel. What do you think? We've got the birds and hit that subscribe button right now because we're going to show you how to put this into a beautiful quilt. So absolutely beautiful. Goes with the bird fabric that we picked up. It's gorgeous. All right. Now, some more nature, outdoor scenes. We've got the elk um, there with the beautiful leaves. That can be edging for our quilt because it's in the rows. Um, so we're not sure how we're going to put that into the quilt yet, but we're absolutely in love with it. So we picked this one up. So again, hit that subscribe. You're going to see how we think about it, how we view it, how we picture it, how we dream it up, create it, and then long arm it and then throw it on the bed, throw it on the couch, throw it on the hammock, wherever it fits. And look at this, being in that snowy, beautiful country of Yellowstone, across Nebraska, across my, uh, Wyoming, Montana, Iowa, um, just so many beautiful states with so many beautiful animals, we picked up a bunch of animal fabric. So again, I just fell in love with nature all over again. So this fabric, is going to be in maybe a couple blocks in the Yellowstone quilt, but definitely 
a, a beautiful panel here. Doesn't that look familiar? We have the deer, the moose, the bear, um, and I'm showing it to you right side up. So very excited about that. And we have one more bag that I thought came from the same place. It's a different color bag. So let's take a look and Friends & Co Quilt Store is all of this fabric. And let's take a look at where this came from. I thought it was the same place. And this is from, I have a blank tag we can use in our junk journals. There's no price on that. Interesting. Tied up like some of the other fabrics do. And I got some more rope, a fat quarter of rope tied smaller pieces. I got these beautiful boots, boot stomping. Look at those. I think those blue boots would go well on me right now. <laughs> So that's fun. Also in Thermopolis, we saw all the dinosaurs. So we have the dinosaur footprints for our dinosaur quilt in both the light and the dark. Very excited about that. And this is another, my seam ripper disappeared, so I can't open that. Let's see if I can get this open for you. Um, but it's another piece with the wildlife, the moon, the bear, the evergreen trees on it. Really makes me think of our trip that we just took and blends in some very well with the Montana and the Yellowstone fabric that I purchased. Um, look at this. Is this absolutely stunning or what? I love it. And to me, it looks like the bear is kind of covered in snow, doesn't it? Kind of? So I'm in love with that. And then to go along with the boots, my cowboy venture out across cross country. We got some hat fabric, um, trains. I love trying to spot some trains. So I picked up this beautiful piece of train fabric that I had never seen before. So I really, really love that. And kind of the, the junk journal theme, the exploration, the travel, um, picked up this beautiful piece. And look at that, it's a panel and it is just, I found it absolutely stunning. So I had to get that and pick that up, kind of the early mapping um, of the world and how they used to do the map. So that's very exciting to me. Um, coffee, because who doesn't love their coffee? I will tell you though, traveling across country is not like traveling in Europe. I could not wait to get a good cup of coffee back here at home and get my espresso. Um, but again, this fabric, I thought absolutely beautiful and what more fun to have with traveling than I love coffee, those little pick-me-ups that bring me back home, that take me to that happy space. So I love that. And I know this is an animal print, but I was kind of thinking dinosaurs. So I picked this up, thought maybe we could do some raw edge applique dinosaurs or, or something of the sort in the dinosaur quilt. And then I have been looking for fabric like this, uh, mainly to use in my uh, junk journals, but it's measuring tape. I just love this, so I had to pick this up. So I hope you have enjoyed our beautiful um, loot that we got on our cross country trip in our different um, quilt stores. Thank you to all of you who um, really showed us around, helped us out, cut all our fabric. Um, quilt stores, you are the best, 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 best place to get fabric. So I love our haul. I hope you do too. Hit that subscribe button so you do not miss these upcoming tutorials where we put all of this fabric into wonderful use right away. We're going to make several, several, several quilts. I'm excited. Yay. Bye my friends. Bye.